Hello everyone, my name is Hayden and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be giving Eve the ability to create and delete GitHub repositories for us automatically. In this video, we're going to be adding two new commands to Eve, one being Eve GitHub create, which will create a repository on GitHub for us, and one being Eve GitHub delete, which will delete a repository for us. So here you can see us running the Eve GitHub create command, which creates a test repo. And if I refresh this, you can see that we've just created our test repo here. And similarly, I can run the Eve GitHub delete command and it will delete the test repo and ask me if I'm sure and then deletes the repo so if I now refresh over here you can see that that has now gone cool so that's what we'll be creating so let's jump over to PyCharm and start coding this out so I've opened up PyCharm here and first thing we need to do is install our uh, new package which is called Py GitHub. and as of recording this video uh, it's version 1.4 so just install that and that's your requirements.txt before we do any coding of the github api what i want to do is just jump into the cli.py script and make a few adjustments in here um, so i want to abstract this out into its own variable um, rather than this being rb this is rb this is also going to be commands so we can just replace uh, that everywhere i could actually use shift f6 to get rid of that now when we import this new pi github module um we have to say from github import blah um, and that messes up our naming conventions we've got under commands so what i told you in the last video i'm going to kind of undo and i'm going to say we only want to import everything that starts with cmd underscore so what we need to do then is go into our commands uh, directory and now rename all these to have an underscore and fax them. So you can go uh, rename and just prefix all of them with CMD um, and then the ut utility name, so CMD weather. And I'm also gonna do the same for services just to kind of keep the whole uh, thing in sync. So I'm gonna call these S S V C and just refactor them. So what that means is down here as well, we also need another replace command to replace the cmd underscore and rip that out and that should be all there and then um, down here we just need to uh prefix that with cmd i'm going to come up into commands create a new python file call that cmt github uh, and similarly in service create a new python file called um s svc github for service github and that should be all and if we jump into the terminal and now say uh Eve has no attribute CLI. Okay, yeah, fine. So we just need to make a function in here called import click and then at click So I'm just making the uh, initial thing here so we can just check that And as you can see now, we've got GitHub and uh, the weather API, so that should be all good. Okay, so now we can jump into command github.py and do stuff that we did very similar for the weather API, but this time for GitHub. So what we want again is a uh, context object so that we uh, can pass these between requests. Uh, and let's say self.github is, um, so we're obviously going to import our github service and and from up here we can say from eve.service import service github and that's where that will come from two blank lines there uh, and then we need to pass our um is it click pass context pass our context into here give this context and then say context dot object is the context object we've created up here. Uh, don't worry about this complaining at the minute, we will fix that soon. Okay, cool. So now we want to make two uh, click commands, uh, one called create to create the GitHub repo, uh, and another one called delete to delete 
GitHub repo. So I'm just gonna create the kind of shells for them there. For the create command, we're going to need a couple of things, aren't we? We're gonna need a, um, we need a name of the, um, we're gonna need a name of the repo we wanna create. So we can say uh, the name is, e is a type string and we can, we're gonna get that passed in. Uh, what else do we need? We could add a couple options uh, to say one to say if it's private or not. So private, a private or public repo. Uh, so we can add that by saying, um, is it private? So if they specify dash p or dash dash private, uh, then it will be a private repo. This is a type uh, bool. Uh, and the help text can be something like is a private repo question mark and the default value of this is going to be false and let's type in prop pass in private and we can do something very similar uh, for the git ignore files which I find um, I kind of just copy and paste from the github repos quite often um, but this is going to be of a type string because you might want to specify it differently for different packages um, and then this help text will be the dot git ignore file to add to include in repo um, and just the default is none so I'm going to say default none oh actually sorry it's got to be an empty string so I'm going to say default empty string um, pass that in and obviously we're going to need as always, our click pass context object and context is always the first argument passed in. So we can have something like that. Uh, let's give this a helpful name. So this could be something like uh, create GitHub repo. And then in here, we're gonna wanna use our, um, our context object, which has the GitHub service that we're gonna make in a minute added in. Uh, so what we can say is something like repo is, co is the context object dot github uh, dot create repo so that'll be a function on that class that we'll create in service and we can pass that a name uh, we can say private equals private and git ignore equals git ignore uh, and then once we've done that we can just print out some useful information so we can say stuff like we've created this uh, repo name this is the uh, url that it's come for uh, and then run the blow blow command. So you know when you set up a, a uh, Git repo and you need to set the remote um, origin, this will just be some useful commands that print out there. Cool, so now let's jump over to service.github and implement that class. Cool, so in service.github, we just need to build the logic for interacting with the GitHub API. So I'm gonna say from uh, GitHub import GitHub, um, and then we can say class GitHub. Ask it to have utility. We can give it a GitHub object, which is GitHub. Uh, and then here you need to pass your username and password. Uh, I'll address that in a second. And I'm just gonna put a user on here as well. I think it, you can say get user. There we go. And let's do that create repo command that we did earlier. Uh, and what did that take? That took a name uh, private defaults to false and git ignore equals uh, defaults to uh, empty string. You might see me alternate between single and double quotes quite a lot. Um, I use a Python format called black, which kind of just handles all that stuff afterwards. For me, I just run black across all my um, Python code and it just formats it all nicely. So I don't really care because black handles all that kind of formatting later. So uh, this is just going to uh, all one sec, I just want to create one useful um, one useful method called get repo, which if you look at the documentation for the GitHub API, you can basically say self.user.get repo and pass it a name and it will return you a name. This will be useful because we'll use this down here. So we can say self.user.create um, repo, name is name, private is private. Uh, git ignore template is git ignore um, and then there's one called auto init 
which I believe adds the readme. And if we jump into here, you can see uh, where is it auto in it. Oh man. I think it's something like creates it with a readme file or something like that. It's just quite good. Cool. So this is basically all you need to do in order to create a, um, a repo. But obviously this isn't going to work because we're not logging in. So let's jump back over to config.py and add some useful help there. So I've just opened up config.py um, and here let's just add some GitHub um, API configs. Again, wouldn't really recommend doing this in a production application, but for the sake of this tutorial, it's fine. Uh, so my, for example, GitHub, so you'd put your, for example, uh, GitHub username in there um, and also one for password and you put your GitHub username and password um, in here. Now what I'm going to do is when um, I cut the camera back to service.github, I'll go and change them and then um, we'll be able to import them. So we're now back over in um, service.github and we can say from eve.config import github username and github password and then we can just copy and paste them into here and that basically handles all the locking in for us um, and then when we come down here to log in get user it will all be fine also what we need to do actually just before we do that is jump back over to command.py and this is a bit of an error from me here but uh change this to rather than uh, so this is github command uh, rather than click command this needs to be cli command otherwise eve doesn't know what's going on so now if i say something like eve github create uh we'll call it test repo uh private is false and uh, what would what was the other the ignore file can be equal to uh, Python uh, actually sorry you don't need the you don't need the equal sign you can just do them like that and if we create that that will hopefully go off and do it and you say created test repo here so now if I click on this link it will open up a web browser for me navigate me to my repos and this test one and as you can see it's initialized the repo created a readme and has a git ignore file which is the python default uh, file cool. so you can see that there you can see how te the test repo has been created it was created one minute ago so now let's implement the delete command so very similar to the create command uh, the delete command will delete a github repo uh, and all we want to say here is repo equals context dot object dot github dot uh, get so get the repo in the function we made earlier that's going to take a name so let's pass that in in fact that is going to be identical to the one we did up here so let's just do that uh, we're also going to want to pass the context object so we've got the context object the name um, and that's all we need in order to delete the repo uh, deleting things is you want to be a little bit careful about that so you actually might want to ask the user if they're absolutely sure so what you can do is uh, pass a click confirm and say something like uh, are you sure you want to delete uh, and this can be the repo dot um, actually let's give them the HTML URL because they can navigate to it and see uh, and the default for that is false uh, so obviously it will be no, so we don't want to just like delete it on uh, like if they accidentally press enter. If they do press yes, so this will give them an option to press yes. Uh, if they do do that, then we want to delete the repo with the repo. Uh, we'll pass it the repo dot name, um, and then we can click echo something like uh, delete deleted uh, repo dot name and that is an f string i don't know why pycharm didn't complete auto complete that uh, if it doesn't then we just want to print out something like um, aborted did not delete your repo exclamation mark cool uh, and let's see that in action now so you can see if i pull this in we've still got uh, the test repo here behind here if I make this half the size, uh, go to terminal, so I'll refresh that, you can see it's still there. And if I do eve.github.delete test, if I spell it right, test repo, 
it will say are you sure you want to delete so this is that if statement here that click confirm uh, I'll put the link there so I can click and see it there which is just the same as these two links uh, and then if I so you see it's got a capital no because it's defaulting to no so I have to physically put Y or yes in on my keyboard press enter and we've not implemented the delete repo function of course not silly silly Hayden uh, so let's jump over to service.github uh, create a delete repo command which takes a name and this is going to be very simple it was going to say self.get repo of the name and uh, just delete that repo and that is pretty much all we need to do <laughs> so again I'll come over here uh, and say Eve GitHub delete test repo. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes, please. Click the delete button. Delete the test repo. If I come over here, refresh this page, you can see test repo does not exist anymore because we've deleted it and removed it from our GitHub. Perfect. There we go. So we've added two new commands to Eve and the GitHub API. We can very easily extend service.github py now to do different features like rename repos, but these were just kind of some basic commands to show you. I'll probably build on these in the future. Also comment below or send me a pull request if you have an idea for Eve and I will turn your idea into a video and put it on the channel. Be sure to like and subscribe also to stay up to date with the latest videos I send out for Eve. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.